A question we get asked all the time here in flower shops, but also here in the flower school, is why do you cut flowers on an angle? So you know when we're treating and conditioning flowers, we're always saying cut at least two or three centimetres off the end of the stem on a 45 degree angle. And people ask why, like what's the difference? Well, when you cut a stem straight across, so for example, I'll just get this stem and I'll just cut straight across. You can see there I have a circle at the bottom. So that's the area this flower has to suck up water. Where if I was to get the scissors and now, same flower, but cut it on a 45 degree angle. Can you see the oval opening that I've made this time? So it's definitely one and a half times the area of when I cut straight across. So now it has a bigger area to drink of water. That's the main reason why you cut on 45 degree angles. Other people have other reasonings behind it. They say then, now obviously your bucket should be spotlessly clean anyway, but if there was any sort like sand or gravel in the end of your vase, you'll find now your flower is standing on its tippy toes. So you will find it's not going to take up any dirt in the end of your vase. Where again, if you had it cut straight across, it's resting flat on the bottom of your vase or your bucket. It's harder for it to suck the water up, but also if there's any dirt there, it can clog the end of it. Now in saying that, like we are really pacific here at the school about sterilizing the bucket scrupulously. I often say to the students, if it's not good enough to drink your tea out of, it's not good enough for the flowers to drink the water out of it. But there's just lots of reasonings behind it. So hopefully that's answered the question why you cut your stems on a 45 degree angle. Best of luck, if you have any questions, just place them in the comments below.